Hi, uh, my name is Jeff Evans. I'm from Tacoma, Washington in the United States. And I came here to the Flandrian Hotel uh, for a brief stay uh, as part of a two week vacation through Belgium. Honestly, I was just looking for a way to experience cycling in Belgium and especially the Flanders region. And I did a Google search for cycling hotel and Flandrian Hotel was one of the top results. When I walked in the door to the Flandrian Hotel, I was, I was almost overwhelming. Uh, the, the vibe here, uh, I got here and there was a cycling team that was in attendance here. Um, just the vibe and the, the experience of cycling in Belgium is alive in this hotel. There's an ambiance that exists in this location that if you are in love with cycling and if you are in love with the Belgian region and the classics, you have to come here and experience this. First of all, if, if you're coming from the States, it is a completely different experience riding in Belgium. Uh, the people in cars are much more friendly. There's paths everywhere. Uh, it, the routes are very clearly labeled. It's very hard to get lost if you have a map or something downloaded into your Strava. It's like, I knew coming here that part of the deal, part of the thing that I wanted to experience the most was the suffering of riding the cobbles. Uh, and riding the Demir was, first of all, it's much longer than I expected. It starts in the town next to the church and it winds its way through the town through a very, very steep cobbled section that's framed by trees. Uh, and then you make a corner and you can see the chapel, you know, you're almost there. And that last section is like super difficult because you're already fatigued from the, the previous climb and however far you rode to get there. Uh, but getting to that chapel and like experiencing riding on the roads that, that so many famous cyclists have ridden on was, it, it, it's just an experience, a moving experience. Uh, it, it's one of those things that I will cherish uh, as long as I can ride my bike. A very brief synopsis of my experience here at the Flandrian Hotel. Uh, the first day I got here, I sat down for dinner. I was invited to dinner to eat with uh, the team and the owners and managers of the hotel. Um, and I started to understand <laughs> the caliber of people that are, are coming here. I, I was a little over, okay, I was a lot overwhelmed by how much knowledge and experience has come to the Flandrian already in the very short time they've been open. It was sitting down with someone who has trained hundreds of cyclists over his career. Some have gone pro. Uh, sitting down with someone who's a European national champion and having dinner with them while there's a whole pro cycling team sitting at the next table talking about their strategies and how they're gonna you know like how they're gonna eat and like get ready for the next race of the day 190 kilometer race the next day um, and then after dinner it was talking with uh, the director sportif of the team and someone who used to race pro road racing on Team Gerolsteiner, it, the whole thing, I, I literally went to bed and I was like, what, did you, what just happened to me? Like seeing all these people in person and listening to their stories and how, you know, like, <laughs> like we, the name Eric Zabel came up and he's like, oh yeah, like Eric Zabel and I, we, we worked together. Just having that level of experience in one room was amazing and it was inspirational and it was like kind of the perfect thing to get me through a hard day on the cobbles the next day just thinking about all of the things that they had experienced over the years and the fact that i got to experience it's a very short time of them sharing their stories was 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 so memorable that I, it was a priceless experience so then like this morning <laughs> as i'm sitting around uh, like relaxing before I head out for another ride, uh, a Tour de France winner walks in the door, Alan Piper. <laughs> and he's a friend of the hotel. Uh, and he just walks in and chats with the owner, 
and like says hello and does his thing and heads back home. And that's like a common occurrence here. <laughs> like, can you imagine being in a place where a Tour de France winner just walks in the door? It, it's, again, mind-blowing experiences here at the Flandrian Hotel. That if you are thinking about coming to Belgium or if you're not thinking about coming to Belgium, it doesn't matter. Book a trip to the Flandrian Hotel. If you're an amateur cyclist, if you're a pro cyclist, it doesn't matter. This hotel and this area is all about the love of the bike. It doesn't matter if you ride 10 miles an hour, if you ride 30 miles an hour. If you love bikes and you love cycling and you love all about the sport of cycling, whether it's a road racer, a mountain bike racer, cyclocross like myself, an amateur cyclist that just rides back and forth to work and really likes to do long rides on the weekends, book a trip here. It's a magical place. It's, it's my Disneyland at this point. Um, you really need to experience this level of care. And I've really honestly been treated like a VIP while I was here. Not because I am <laughs> in any means, but because that's how they treat people here at the Flandria. The food is amazing. Always opt for the food. <laughs> uh, but come here and experience this hotel because there's nothing like it anywhere else. You won't find the, the bicycles that are here, the gallery that's here, the care and love that these people have for the sport and for their patrons. You aren't gonna find that anywhere else. Come here and experience the Flandrian Hotel. It's literally the best thing you can do on a travel trip if you love cycling.